After being pushed back a day, jury selection is now underway in the trial of Derek Chauvin. The former Minneapolis police officer is charged with killing George Floyd. His death sparked protests nationwide. CBS News' Michael George has more from Minneapolis. Uh, good morning, members of the jury panel. Judge Peter Cahill is going forward with jury selection at Derek Chauvin's trial, even while an appeals court considers adding third degree murder to the charges against the former Minneapolis police officer accused of killing George Floyd. You have been summoned as potential jurors in the case of State of Minnesota versus Derek Chauvin. The judge and lawyers from both sides question the prospective jurors, who will remain anonymous. The process could take up to three weeks. Do you think that might be a problem, absorbing everything and understanding all the evidence? I understand, but um, the only I know what, what I see in the TV. Last May, the video of Chauvin kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes sparked days of protests and calls for racial justice. With so many people still on edge in this city, officials are taking no chances with security. The National Guard is here, and the courthouse is fortified with barbed wire and concrete barriers. Marsha Howard is a teacher and retired Marine. We have always been disenfranchised, over-policed, over-criminalized, over-promised and under-delivered. The intersection where Floyd was killed is now barricaded off as a protest zone. 30th in Chicago is like a microcosm of the world that we're trying to ideate, a world without police where community depends on each other. Chauvin's defense team is expected to argue Floyd died of a drug overdose rather than from the officer's knee on his neck. Chauvin faces up to 40 years in jail if convicted. Michael George, CBS News, Minneapolis. Three other former Minneapolis police officers who were at the scene are charged with aiding and abetting murder. Their trial is scheduled for August.